Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today I am bringing you an activewear haul but a little bit tailored to a specific activity because I'm going to start a series here on my channel. I have signed up for my very first half marathon ever. It was something that I said I would never do. Never say never. I've set up a half marathon training plan. It was supposed to start this week. It is the first week of May when I'm filming this. So it was supposed to start this week because I popped my rib out about a month ago. I'm not quite ready to start running, but in the next couple weeks, I will be. And so today I'm gonna be bringing you an active wear haul of just some of the things that I plan on running in throughout the summer. I think I'll probably do an updated one, maybe partway through the training, just as I start running in these things and decide whether or not I'm liking them. I have run in the past, but never this kind of distance. So the most I've done is a five, uh, the most I've done is a six mile run and it was part of a race. I didn't really train for it that much. Maybe did a mile too, but generally if I'm going out for a run, I have to A, be in just randomly in the mood for it because sometimes that does happen. But B, it's usually like a mile or two, maybe three but not more than that. As I start running in these things a little bit more, doing longer runs, longer training runs, I will probably do an updated one to let you know how I like all of this stuff for the activity of running. I have run in most of it so far, but not, like I said, those long distances. Through this series, I think I will show you, like I said, the active wear that I'm planning on wearing, maybe some stretch routines, some foam rolling routines. I've done a lot of research on recovery for this because I wanna make sure as personal training is my job that I don't injure myself. I have been through injuries with this job and it's not fun. So I don't wanna overdo it with the running, maybe some meals that I'm eating pre and post run, how I get through the long training runs. So yeah, this will become a series. You'll continue to see videos regarding my very first half marathon. For today though, let's hop right into it. Because my training is going to happen through the summer, I plan on primarily wearing shorts. I also don't like to have any loose clothing on me when I'm running, so I typically just run in a sports bra or I have a couple of tank tops that I'll talk about today. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. First thing let's talk about because I'm already wearing it is the Energy Bra from Lululemon. I've talked about it in my activewear hauls before, but it is definitely my favorite bra of theirs. It's just very basic, very simple, fits me well. It's got good support. I don't need a ton of support, honestly, but for running, if anything, running is where I need the most support. Definitely a great bra for this. I believe they market it for size B through D. I'm like AB, but they fit me great. I wear a size six and I have it in a couple of different colors. I know that Lululemon's a little bit expensive, so I also have this almost exact same style from CRZ Yoga that I've also talked about before, but that is another one that I definitely plan on wearing through these runs because it has the same amount of support, very much a very similar bra. It's got just the X cross in the back, very simple. Because of the double strap on each side, it just gives you really great support. As I keep running, obviously I don't have unlimited number of these bras and I'll be running more than a couple times a week. So I will update you with other bras that I find are really comfortable to run in once I continue to run more. Let's go ahead and move into tank tops. We'll finish with shorts and then I'll actually talk about my shoes. And then one other thing that I like to run in because it makes everything just easier. I wish I had these in every single color. The tank that I like to wear is the Happiness Runs crop from Free People Movement. It is definitely pretty cropped, so it doesn't go that far below my sports bra, but if I ever want a little bit more coverage than just my sports bra, this is what I like to wear. It is nice and tight, so there's no loose things flapping anywhere. It is a racer back, which I like. I don't really like the straight straps in the back because they hit my shoulders and my lats weird. It does come up high neck, which I like that coverage as well. These come in, I believe, an extra small, small, and then a medium large. So I get the extra small, small. They do stretch. It looks teeny tiny, but it does stretch really good and they are very comfortable. So I have it in two colors. Definitely something I could see myself getting more of because I love them. Let's go ahead and talk about shorts. There's two types of longer bike shorts that I intend to probably wear for my longer runs just so that my thighs aren't chafing. First one I have talked about in an active wear video before, but it is the Joy Spell running shorts. They're a little bit longer. They're probably, they are high waisted. The actual length of them is probably like a six to eight inch or a little bit longer. I typically like my longer bike shorts to be six inch. But I think these are eight, they're a little bit longer. I sized down in them, a little rounded, oh, you can't even see, a little rounded contour in the back, and then some seams up the front. They're very comfortable, they don't rub anywhere. The waistband is a seamless waistband, so it's not too thick around my stomach area. That's 
something I hate with all leggings, all shorts. So it doesn't have that, which is fabulous. Second pair of longer running shorts I have are, I believe I'll put it up on the screen if I'm wrong, but I believe it's the Wonder Under Train or Wonder Train shorts. I'm gonna have to double check that, but these are a six inch. I wear them in the same size as I wear all my leggings at Lululemon, size four. They're very simple, very basic but they work. They have really great compression, which I love. They also have the seamless waistband, so they're not too annoying. And they do actually have a pull string, so if you wanted to tighten them, I don't need to tighten them, but if you wanted to tighten them, you could. They are more of a performance material, so they shouldn't pill, shouldn't do anything like that. I have run in them a few times and I haven't noticed any issues with them. They're also very comfortable. Definitely love those for running. All right, and then I have two pairs of shorts that are a little bit on the shorter, more track short style shorts where they split at the leg and they're a little bit more comfortable, airy. I plan on wearing these more for my like two, three, four mile runs. The other ones are gonna be probably more for my seven, eight, nine mile runs. Just saying those miles just the first pair I actually got at Target. It is their All in Motion brand and they come up a little bit on the outside of your thigh and they have just a little slit there. They are very, very stretchy, very comfortable. I could do squats in them, I could do anything in them. They are high rise and they also have the little drawstring. Up here they have the built in underwear which I actually really like. I, I wear underwear regardless but I like them because it allows them to just be a little bit more freeing, open, stretchy, and you don't have to worry about showing anything off. Definitely love these. The very last pair is Lululemon Find Your Pace 3 inch short. Now I don't know if they have them in stock available right now, but I highly recommend them if they do come back. They are very open on the sides, but they also have that built-in underwear so you feel very secure. It's really hard to explain the material. They are so, so thin, but that makes them light, breathable, flexible, amazing. They also have the drawstring at the waist, and these for these I do need them a little bit more. I did get a six in these for shorts. I tend to want to size up just to make sure it fits hips, legs. Now these are a little bit more open, so I may have been able to do a size four because the waist is a little bit big, but it does have that drawstring where you can pull it, tie it, make them perfect. They have the die cut holes in the back. Even though I said they're very thin material, it also helps make them a little bit more breathable. So these all around highly recommend and love these shorts. That covers kind of the main things that I plan on running in. Again, I will make an updated video once I actually get into these longer training runs to let you know how that all held up and whether my assumption on what I'd wear the most was correct. But let's also talk about, so I love running in shorts, leggings that have pockets, but I only like to wear pocket shorts and pocket leggings when I'm running. And because I don't do that very often, I don't buy a ton of those items. So most of the time, I mean, nothing I talked about today has the pockets. I like to run with this belt. It is called a flip belt. The outside is just one full round band and the inside there's little pockets for you to put. Now, iPhones have gotten bigger and bigger and bigger, so I've actually had this for quite a lot of years, and now that my phone is the size that it is, it still does fit. It is a tight fit, but it does fit. But I also carry poop bags for macaroni, I carry my keys, a card, you know, anything in here, and you just, actually, I think there's poop bags in it now. Yep. You stick whatever you need into the pockets, and there's pockets all around this thing. So there's one, two, four, four pockets around the inside of this. So you stick what you need in the pockets, and then you flip it so all of the items are tight to your side. So there's no risk of things falling out, and I just wear it around my waist, and it works perfectly. Like I said, I got it years ago, so I have run in it, and I do like it. I haven't done the length of runs that I will be doing, so again, I'll keep you posted, but. It is something that I really do love. And then running shoes are so individualized, so I'm not making a recommendation because you should definitely figure out what kind of gait you have, what kind of, where you put the pressure, how your knees bend, determine your own style of shoes. But just in case anybody's curious, first of all, if you have a cute running shoe, let me know because I find all running shoes to be just hideous, but the comfort and the injury prevention, totally worth it. I am just running in Brooks Adrenaline shoes. 
I did buy them new this year because I want to make sure that I'm taking care of my feet. They are very comfortable. I have run, I'm actually tracking my miles over the summer because I just want to see how many total miles I run between all my training runs and the other excess runs that I do. So I am tracking the miles that I put on these shoes because it is important to re-up your shoes. Do not over run in your shoes. So I am tracking my miles. I've done, I think about 20 miles in these so far and I definitely love them for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know it was a little bit of a shorter, quick, maybe more niche video, but I am excited for this series. I'm super excited to have something to train for this summer, to follow a plan, to challenge myself. So the biggest reason I'm doing this is because I don't like to run that much. I'm not really a runner is what I've told myself in the past, I guess. You know, I find it really easy to push myself in things like weightlifting and HIIT workouts and circuit workouts because I really, really love and enjoy those. And running isn't something that I hate, hate, but it's not something that I love, love. So this is a way for me to push myself, challenge myself, and I'm super excited. I will document the whole journey this summer, so stay tuned. This is just episode one and we'll see if I sound completely naive in this video a couple months from now. <laughs> we are gonna be getting back into weekly workouts here very, very shortly. My ribs are definitely healing. Take it slow. We might do a few low impact workouts, but we will get back to workouts every single Monday in the next week or two. So stay tuned for that. If this is the first video you're seeing, I normally post workouts every single Monday on my channel, but I'm just going through a little bit of an injury period. I've done a lot of food videos that you can check out out, meal prep videos, I have other active wear videos, full days of eating, and there is also over 100 workouts on my YouTube right now that you can do in the meantime. So I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good week, have a good weekend, have a good morning, night, evening, whenever you're watching this video. I will see you in a week. Bye.